Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop and I'd like to introduce you to a brand new tool that I've added to my arsenal thanks to the folks at Creality. This is a Falcon 240 watt laser cutter our laser engraver some people refer to it as. This thing is a beast. It's a really awesome machine and I'd like to show you all about it. First let me show you up close of how I set it up I'm not going to show you a video of putting it together because quite honestly there's not much to put together. It's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But I do want to show you a few things about the specific setup that I've chosen and this setup might help you if you're in a similar situation. So take a look at this. Well, first off, I recommend getting the enclosure because that will uh, entrap all the smoke. And yes, of course, there is smoke. Whenever you're cutting something uh, with a laser, it's going to smoke. So, like, especially like wood. And you can see over here how I've ducted it out. And the most complicated part about putting this all together is probably this fan, and it's pretty simple. There's a grill that goes on the inside. You put four bolts through, to, through the fan, and you bolt it all together. Then you hook your hose up and take it outside. Now, I just happen to have a previous vent from my previous laser cutter. So I just stuck this little hose in there. And in this case, the hose was smaller. So what I did was just put some... Uh, plastic trash bags around there to take up the space and make it airtight. Let me show you over here on the actual uh, table here. This desk I have it on is a very small little old desk, came out of an old office somewhere. It's of no value, but it's so narrow that you can't really set the machine on it. So what I did was I cut out a piece of uh, wafer board plywood and uh, cut it uh, about an inch or so bigger all the way around and that way there's room to put it on here without any problem and then what I did and I'm not you're not going to be able to see this I don't think but down in the corners there's a uh, plastic uh, triangle and I drilled through that plastic triangle and I put a little screw into this plywood so this thing is affixed to the plywood it won't move and I think that's a good thing because this this cover is actually very light and it does tend to want to move around but if you screw it into your plywood like this, then it can't move. The base is still movable. I can move the base if I need to. Let's move over here and I'll show you a couple other things that I recommend that you might think about. I put a power strip right there and then that way I can plug in both items because you need a uh, fan plug-in and you need a plug-in for the machine itself. That way I can turn on one switch and turn on the whole machine and everything's on and I always know it's on. I don't have to think, well, did I turn on the fan? Did I turn on the other thing? It's all on just with one switch. So I recommend you think about that. So let me turn it on real quick. And you can see it does make some noise. And it automatically goes home when you turn it on. Let me show you another little trick I'm doing. See the washers in the corners? I recommend you put these washers in there on the corner of your material and the reason is once you cut through the part that you're cutting will drop just slightly and that way you know it's been cut all the way through because with a laser cutter often you don't know did it cut all the way through the material or not and if it did not cut all the way through all you have to do is just send the job again and it'll cut it again and then it'll drop through but having the work on those corners like that on the washers you can see at a glance if it fell through or not where if you had everything on the same plane it doesn't fall so you can't tell yeah, let's go over to the computer I'll show you the job I'm about to send to this my regular viewers will instantly recognize that these are mandolin peg heads Right now, at the moment, I have this selected, so I'm going to deselect it, and that way it'll be a little more clear. I'll, sh I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. These are uh, the shape of a mandolin peg head where you would tie your strings, and those little circles would be where the posts go through. Well, you can see the blue, that is my engraving, and the red is my cutting lines. So all the red gets cut and the blue gets engraved. You can control that with these layers over here, see? It, it's, I'm not going to go into great detail, but you can see the layers here. I have a blue layer and I tell it use uh, 300 speed and 67 percent of the power 
On the red, I want it to cut through, so I tell it to go very slow, a uh, speed of 15 with 100% power. So it'll cut through on the first pass that way. You can see that I have two other layers and they're hidden. Well, I'm going to show uh, the one layer here. Well, actually, I'll just go ahead and show them both. I really don't need both of these. But I have one layer that is the exact same size as my plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this frame button and the laser cutter will then outline the piece of plywood that I have. And that way I'll know if I have my plywood in the right place. So I'm going to put you back over there watching the laser cutter and I'm going to click on this frame button and you'll see that it traces the outline of the plywood. Okay, I'm clicking on the frame. And as you can see, it's tracing the very outer edge of the plywood. That way I know I have everything lined up perfectly so I can start the cut. Now we'll get that cut started and let you watch that. friends the job has completed as you saw so let's open it up and see what it looks like um, most of it's fallen through I would assume that the ones that don't fall through are gonna fall out fairly easy so I'm gonna go for it I hope I don't make a mistake here oh yeah they fell look at that perfect in fact that's just like awesome right there can't beat that with a stick Love it. Perfect cut through. And then that means that the holes should have cut through also. And you can see there they did. And they, the etch was dark. Uh, that's good. I, I wanted the etch a little darker than it had been. So I, I actually bumped this up to 75 just before I sent the job. So traveling at 370 and then 75 power. It did a nice job etching this time. And you can see how precise these things are. Every single one of them will uh, you know, line up perfectly and all the holes will line up. You can see directly straight through it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see through it and it's perfect. So it just does a wonderful job. It's just a great machine. Now I'll show you what I do with these things. So after I cut out all these parts, what do I do with them? I put them in a little base like that and they become desk art or you know shelf art so what I do is I put them in there and then I just take a little little bit of CA glue put it right on the tail here and drop it down in there get it in the center make my eye you know and then I just spritz it with a little bit of accelerator to make it set up quick and if I want a little added insurance I could just put a drop right here on the back and do the very same thing and then it's in there permanently affixed so it makes a nice little desk art piece for people that play mandolin or you know or taking my course or something like that anyway that's what I do with it let me show you a couple of the things that I have just recently started using the laser cutter for now this is only a prototype but it's just something else that I decided to use my laser cutter for is I've cut out these circles I labeled them with the size of each of the sockets and it fits right over the socket perfectly as you can see now I don't have the base worked out yet but I'll make a base for this and in fact I think I'm gonna make it two tiers like this will be the lower tier and then I'll have an upper tier for the tall sockets so that's just another example of something you can do with it I thought you might enjoy seeing that 
And finally, I'll show you that I made a box with the laser cutter. There's a website out there, I think it's called box.py, if I'm not mistaken. You can uh, use that website to create pretty much any size style box you're looking for. This is cut out with slots and tabs and it fits together really nice and then you can just run a B to CA glue down through the crack and it works really well. I like these storage boxes. As you can see I've just got parts stored in this one. These are ATV parts and I can put them on the shelf, pull the whole box down and look through it. Where a tin can works, but you, the tin can you can't see all the things that are in there. This you can spread it around and see in there much better. So I really like these storage boxes. And finally, I thought I'd show you one more thing that I use the laser cutter for all the time. It's one of my most important reasons for using the laser cutter, and that is gaskets. This is gasket material. You can just buy it at the auto parts store. You can lay it out flat on the bed and cut out just about any shape gasket you want to cut out. Uh, now gasket material is often hard to cut through. You might have to make two or three passes, but it'll certainly score it well enough that you can cut it out the rest of the way with scissors if you have a problem. But it often cuts all the way through it. It's just a wonderful tool for making gaskets and I do take lots of things apart that need gaskets and it's just awesome for that. Well, my friends, I think that's everything I wanted to tell you about the Creality uh, Falcon 2 laser cutter. It's a 40 watt beast. And I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video. Uh, there's a link in the description. Be sure to check that out. And I review a lot of products, but uh, not all of them make it on the products I use page of my website. Well, I can tell you for sure the Creality Falcon 2 will be on my website as a product that I use. Thank you so much, Creality, for sending me this laser cutter. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I'll be making more videos down the road as I find other useful things to make with the laser cutter that I think my viewers would enjoy seeing. Thank you all very much. Give me a thumbs up if you would. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.